What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 57. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. So on today's episode of My Damn Hauls, guys, we do have these two packages that you see in front of you right here. We also have a figure that I got at retail, and I feel like there's something else I need to show you guys, but it's literally, I cannot think of it right now. Maybe I will before the end of the video, but we do have these two awesome packages. We have one from a big-time fan of the channel, Cody. My boy Cody sent us something, and then my other boy Cody, Steinsenberg Custom, sent us something. So it's, it's Cody mail today. We got Cody packages all over the place, and I guess we'll open the fan mail first, and then we'll get into Steinsenberg's two customs that he sent me um, really great prices really good work cannot wait to get into this but uh, first of all we're going to find out what we got in this fan mail package so before we open up the package guys you can see decor decorated it here uh, batista sticker there rbd sticker there we got the johnny gargano logo we got johnny gargano uh right there got a dz for Dolph ziggler Rey mysterio we got the sick af middle school s logo going there you can't see me john cena we got his uh, instagram handle right here I'll also pop it up on the screen if you guys can't read it there and we also have a shield sticker up here or roman reigns we have a roman reigns sticker and I made the mistake, actually, of accidentally already opening it. Um, I didn't look inside. I did not look inside, but it got torn really badly, and it was real ugly looking, so I went ahead and snipped that off. So we'll go ahead and open it now, and I guess the trusty knife can wait until next package. But let's go ahead and just slide it open right here again. I don't know what's in here. It looks like we have a note. Um, we also have some cards in there. Can't wait to get into those. I love when you guys send me the cards and stuff. So what do we got? All right, so we okay, so we have some fodder in here as well. So it's, I think is that it? I want to make sure I don't leave anything out. So we got that. All right, guys. So it does look like he sent us some fodder. We'll go ahead and zoom in here so we can take a look at what we got. Looks like the first thing we got is an Elite 34 Rusev head. Very nice. This is actually the base head I used for my custom Rusev head that BEW made me. Um, so I may actually use this to make a new one and possibly switch that on there. You guys know I'm a big time sculptor now. You know, big guy on campus. I can sculpt really good now. So totally joking, guys. I'm still pretty trash at it. I'm trying to get better at it. But maybe I can, you know, try out on this Rusev. We have a Damien Sandow head scan. The smiling one. That Elias looking head scan uh, with the man bun back there. So we have that. We also have a pair of Neville arms, really awesome. Great looking Neville arms off his, is this off his Elite? Yes, these are off his Elite, but it looks a little backwards. What's up with that? All right, there we go. Now we got it. That's the way they go. So we got the Elite 42 Neville arms. And then he sent us two little baggies here. It looks like we have a basic figure in this baggie. I'll go ahead and zoom it back out for you guys. So we'll unzip the baggie. Retrieving the figure, it looks like we have a basic Dean Ambrose, but with a Cesaro head scan on there. So it's like a custom Jason Statham. How the fuck did this twat find out our fucking names? I'm just kidding, but it kind of does favor Jason Statham with his Cesaro head scan and this uh, wife beater and the jeans and everything. But really sick figure. This guy will definitely go in the crowd and make the MDT universe even thicker. So beautiful looking Cesaro, bro. Thank you so much for that. And then it looks like we have an elite figure, which I am loving already. Um, looking absolutely fantastic. I love this figure. One of my favorite figures here from Mattel. We have the Elite 30 Batista. What a great looking figure. He switched on the WrestleMania or Hall of Champions head scan. And I think it's pretty dope. You got uh, his updated tattoos with his throwback head scan. You got the large knee pads on there. I don't think this figure came with these boots, am I mistaken? But these are the right boots. I like these boots a lot better than the solid black lace boots. These are cool. These are the, you know, Brock Lesnar-esque ones. And uh, beautiful looking figure. I love the back tattoo on this guy. So we got an Elite Batista we can make some customs with and stuff. And he also threw in the smaller knee pads. So we can switch those on if we'd like to. And now I'm going to open up this note and all these trading cards so we can see what we got in here. Before we get into the note, I guess I'll go through the cards. It looks like we got a then and now Christian card. It looks like it's from when he was in the Brood. And then we have, you know, his 2011-ish run. We have a 2K16 Daniel Bryan. We have a Bull Dempsey, who remembers that guy. Hideo Itami. Trash Corbin. Eve. We got Kane for Rookie of the Year 1997. We have a then and now Joey Mercury looking beautiful in Eminem. And then, of course, on J&J &J Security. We have my boy Randy Orton, and that pretty much does it. So thank you so much for those cards, bro. Absolutely beautiful. I actually am building up quite the WWE card collection now that all of these people have been sending me the cards. So really enjoyed those. And then, of course, we have our note here that we'll go ahead and get into. It says, Two My Damn Toys. 
It says, from Cody, hey bro, I've been watching you since last year. The first video I watched was a John Cena collection, and then I was watching you ever since. But besides that, here are some figs for you and the Batista we traded to you and threw in some open knee pads just in case you wanted to swap them on the Batista. That's all. Cody Follower 04. Thank you so much, Cody. This means a lot to me for you to send me this. Um, I'll definitely check out uh, our messages and make sure that everything is good to go. So all this stuff looks fantastic. I'm a huge fan of this Batista. The Batista looks absolutely great. I love my Cesaro Dean Ambrose crowd member, my fodder, and my collection cards. I'll definitely store all this away. Now that we got that knocked out, let's move on to Steinsenberg. So getting into our second package, again guys, this comes from my boy Cody, my other boy Cody, Steinsenberg Customs on Instagram. Go follow him, Beast Customizer, Beast Pick Fetter, Beast at everything. He also has a channel called Team Rated CDS. You should definitely go subscribe to him. He is an incredible guy, very funny, just overall a great dude, and one of my favorite guys in the entire WWE figure community. community. So uh, definitely go check him out and follow his page. But now let's go ahead and dive in to this package he sent me, and we're going to use the trusty good old freaking zebra print knife. Sick as a sisa. How the fuck? And I guess what we can do is just sort of give it a little cut see right here on the side. And hopefully we don't cut any of the figures here, but maybe it'll just tear open and you guys can see um, what we have in here. So tearing it straight open. We have a couple championship belts. He actually threw these in just for the hell of it. He threw in two big golds like I freaking needed them. Um, thank you so much for these, bro. They look incredible. I have an absolute million of these. I think I, I have like 40, no lie, of this championship belt. So that's pretty freaking interesting. But now let's get into the figures we got, guys. It is two custom Batistas. Two custom animals. Two custom freaking beauties. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. These look incredible. So here we have two custom Batistas in the same era. This is obviously when he was in Evolution, guys. You can see here, they're both of the flame attires. We have the silver, sort of pewter-looking color with the maroon going all the way around in that flame design. And then on the right, we have the uh, bright red color with the silver flames and the black outline. Both black lace boots. We got some colored knee pads and elbow pads on both of these. Freaking sick, nasty farticles. We're building up the Batista timeline. Two customs that I don't have to make now. So now we have two of the earliest versions of Batista in my collection. So these will go at the beginning of the Batista timeline on the shelf. And what epic customs these are. These are so clean. I don't think he, uh, I think Twitty Mania on Instagram made these. So huge shout out to him, man. He, he is very underrated customizer. I don't know exactly how much he does now, but freaking beautiful looking customs. I don't know exactly what parts he used on these. Obviously a Batista Elite, but I think the lower halves, at least on this guy, is some sort of red crotch and uh, he popped some legs on there because I think these are ball joints. So that is pretty interesting, but these are freaking nice, man. I, I love these to death. Thank you so much, Cody, for throwing in those championships as well. And shout out to Twitty Mania for the awesome custom work. But yeah, guys, awesome looking Batista Customs. Also, a figure I picked up at retail, guys, is the Walgreens exclusive Becky Lynch. I have been w sitting on this figure forever. I, you know, put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off. And now I can finally replace my trash SmackDown Live Women's Championship with the official Mattel one, so give it up for me. Just a round of applause. I get comments on every single predictions video saying, you know there's a Becky Lynch with an official title? You know there's an official title? MDT, there's an official title out there. Why don't you use that one? And it's because I didn't want to, but I finally did. So now you guys can can it, and we're going to go ahead and can my custom championship and keep this one forever. So here we go. We'll just put the custom one in there, even though it's nice and pliable. Screw it. And now we're done with that. Now let's go ahead and get the official one out. So here we have my girl Becky Lynch and her beautiful Mattel official SmackDown Live Women's Championship out of the packaging. And yeah, this is way better. This is this is much freaking better than uh, my trash custom. And now this makes my third Becky Lynch figure, which is tied for Lita and Stephanie McMahon for the most of one woman superstar in my collection. But that pretty much does it for My Damn Hulse episode number 57. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. A huge shout out to Cody and other Cody for both sending us these epic packages. Uh, again, a great deal on these epic Batista customs, man. My God. Um, I may have to acetone the tattoos off the left shoulder because he didn't have that tattoo till later on, but it's not a big deal. They're still amazing customs. Absolutely beautiful to have these Evolution Batistas. And thank you so much to the other Cody for sending us the Elite 30 Batista that I am for sure going to make customs out of and use the, the parts and everything and the epic fan mail and the cards and everything. And of course, shout out to Walgreens for upgrading our WWE SmackDown Live Women's Championship over there with Becky Lynch. 
But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.